What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to a journey in miraculous taste. My journey to meet Sasa Bitisa, pretty little liars for the signing of a cookbook, Sasa in Good Taste. Although the title is A Journey of Miraculous Taste, and this is the thrift store rundown, we're going to stray from both titles because Damon is going to share his experience meeting Steve Gorman, founding drummer of the Black Crows Band, for his book, Hard to Handle, The Life and Death of the Black Crows Signing. It was co-authored by Stephen Hyden. It's a memoir. He got it at bookends. And how does this shape my experience meeting Sasha in one week's time? As of the filming of this video. Well, you're going to hear from David himself. So, here he is. This is DR91. <coughs> Hello, guys. All right. Hello, so, guys. We do a meal. Okay. Before I start, I would like to say subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. and Okay. DRN 981 yes. on every social media avenue you can think of. Okay, so anyways. Alright, the Hunter Hannah book. As you see in my video of me and the rock star, you can check that out. That's how I got that book, and that's how I met the drummer of the band. Alright, so so far I haven't started reading this book. I already started like the first four pages, but so far so it's been interested. So it's all about it's all about uh the life and death of a band, how the band started for now, like how they broke up. But I was just the intro, so I'm just reading the, well, the, the real story. So, uh, so basically I haven't started. But like, anyways, this book right here just, he made my life come true. So, uh, like, I haven't finished the book yet, but I'm gonna have to continue for where I left off. But now, I just met Steve Gorman. I was so nervous that I had to go up to him and just say that I love your music. And he replied to me, smiley, yes. And then I took his picture, which I... Posted on Facebook, if you can check it out. And uh, yeah, that's and they realized that he also performed in other bands. Uh, so pretty much, uh, he's probably the only musician I've met up in person so far. So uh, yeah, that's at, uh, at my persuasion. What persuasion? At my persuasion, because we were both at bookends last week, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, I was the first to let you know about Steve Gorman coming to do his signing for his book, Hard to Handle. And up until that point, you've never met a rock musician in your life before. Never have. So I wanted you to have the similar joy that I'm going to have meeting Sasha in about a week's time, even though these two are on completely different wavelengths. We both are going to have similar experiences of joy. Well, you already had yours. I'm going to have mine. So, uh, how was the signing? Well, oh yeah. The signing, you got to the right time. Uh, this is his signing right here. Check it out. And that is it. Yo, David! And that's Steve's autograph. Pretty much this autograph ain't going to be deleted now. Kept in my hand forever. So, yeah. Pretty much this is the interesting book so far. And yeah, I've got to keep reading this book, get interested, and yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. How many people are at the signing? About approximately 30. Approximately 30 people? Yeah, 30 people, not that much. Not that much, because it was downstairs in the meeting area. Right. They had all the chairs set up uh, beforehand. And how long was the signing? No, well, it was the questions at... It was the questions that took a long time. About one hour and a half. And how long was the actual signing? About 20 minutes long. 20 minutes. So how does this shape my experience towards meeting Sasha in about a week's time? Well, nervously, uh, like, my heart was beating fast that time. And as soon as he was walking down, I had to clap. But I was a little nervous too that I was going to film. But I didn't say anything. But, uh, yeah, pretty much, um... I bet the Sasha Banks one from next week is gonna... Not Sasha Banks. <laughs> That's yeah. a WWE diva. <laughs> Sasha Pitiesa. Pretty Little Liars. Alistair De Laurentiis. I'm confused between the Sasha stuff. Uh, anyway, Sasha Pitiesa. Right? Yes. Did I pronounce it right? Okay. Uh, That's probably gonna be the same thing as... Steve. Well, no, things could change at any time. I mean, uh, PLL is a high-profile program. Sasha is a high-profile actress. And, uh, well, memories with certain bands and certain artists fade with time. Like, uh, The Black Crows, which is the explanation for why not many people attended that particular signing. 
which as you say was about 30 people. But enough people knew him to at least give him uh, some love over there in Ridgewood. Yeah, so... So how much did the book cost? $30. Oh, you can check the receipt. I don't want to think about This is my bookmark for now. But I don't want the receipt to be erased. $30. How much did you sell that? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Thirty ninety two. Right. Well, there you go. For the very first time, David met a rock musician in his home state in New Jersey. Well, I got to tip my hat off to you on that one. Of course, you know uh, who you have to thank for this. Yeah. Thanks to everybody, and mostly thanks to you. Hey, what are friends for? Besides, what are best friends for? How about that? <laughs> we were best friends for over a decade, dude. That's right. School too, ever since I don't know, kindergarten, preschool. Kindergarten, preschool, whatever that is. No, there you go. So uh, again, how does this shape up my uh, future experience meeting Sasa? Do you think this will be similar, or this is going do you to think be, it will be vastly this is going different? Be, is this going to be even more inter interesting? Because maybe Sasha has a different interest. Even though I bet her life started like way, way different than him. But I think, you know, every person has his own, has a, their own profession. And, uh, like, everybody's different and all of that. So we don't know what, what's going to be like next week from now. Uh, we'll be deciding, but I bet it's going to be questions the same as him. I don't know. But we'll, uh, we'll see on his, um, his own future uh, experience. A journey in miraculous taste. And in the meantime, for David, uh, he experienced his own little miracle last week. Uh, today, a founding member of 1DMC, Daryl McDaniels, and band photographer Glenn Friedman will be signing their book together forever. David's not into rap, but... To rap books to rap. I thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, if you're interested in this book, I'll leave a link in the description if you can get it. Um, again, filming at bookends is prohibited, but David defied the odds and he filmed a small sampling of Steve Gorman's Q&A, which you can check out right now. Yes, sir. What was it like playing with Jimmy Page? It was fucking awesome. <laughs> I mean, that was, uh, it was from the jump, the coolest thing ever, and it was, it was better than I would have imagined it. I hadn't even dawned on me to imagine it before it happened. So the title of music, uh, the video is called Meeting of Oxstar. It's a full, uh, it's a full tour, and a full experience of how I entered to see him. And David also has a audio recording of uh, some of the questions. I only got forty seconds. How about a pull? I think I'm going to be posting uh, the full version of it on my uh, TM Productions one. But oh. here's a small snippet of that right now. That's right. I mean, obviously, I always want to do Achilles' last stand because when you're a drummer, you just think, I gotta show, see if I can do this. I'm also thrilled that we didn't. <laughs> um, so, uh, the main one I wanted to do is In My Time of Dying, which we did. So, that, that was like my first choice. Well, there you go. Um, the full video will be linked in the description below as well. And if you want to see future experiences, you know what you gotta do subscribe to DRN981. As he would usually say, like, comment, subscribe, good day. and you're guaranteed a very good day uh, by watching David's videos. Now, hey, on last, the home front... I have a last words to say. Yes? So, um, pretty much, if you're interested in some stuff, like if you're dreaming, it's your wish will come true at all. Like, I wish to meet a musician and I have. So, that's not what wacky for me, because... You know, we saw my other Facebook post. I went to a rock concert, which was, which is, or was, the Rolling Stones. Right. And so, yeah, the Stones, and um, now I met him in person. So experiences so it could change forever and ever. Just keep hoping, just keep praying, just keep the faith alive. True. And uh, you'll end up like David and you'll end up like myself. Right. Okay. So there you go. On the home front, for me, uh, I got some updates to share with you. Earlier today, 
my friend Donna, um, who's coming with me, the same Donna, Donna Ionelli, who gave me the laptop for which I now use to edit all of my videos, and she actually gave me a set of Burger King coupons for afterwards. Um, I don't plan on spending a penny until the 8th of October, but I just thought that was really sweet of her to do that. So this is a list of Burger King coupons which can be used, but I'm going to use them after the signing. Um, I'm actually going to give David a few of them. She was at a health fair recently and got some stuff back from Walgreens. A stress reliever in the form of a pill, some Listerine ready tabs, uh, tablets that you chew in lieu of mouthwash. It actually turns into mouthwash in seconds for a whole mouth clean feeling on the go. Cute Swiss sauce. I got some pens and some hand sanitizer. And uh, I got some cologne in a goodie bag. Um, Hugo Boss cologne and Kenneth Cole cologne. And it looks to be compliments of Macy's. Donna is such a doll. And she's coming with me. And hopefully David will be too. I'll see what I can do. We'll see what happens. But uh, there you go. Um, once again, the book and David's videos will be linked below. I'm about to have an overshare moment with uh, Lily Mosk and Jocelyn Davis always in my heart. David, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. This has been a journey in miraculous taste from David's house. And hey, don't forget. Like we said in the beginning, follow me on the social medias down below. I'm sure that he will be posting a lot about his experience. And by the way, those are David's dogs. Uh, there's a dog sign out there. Just beware of dogs. And I know why. Rest in peace, Bobby. Yes, yes. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have your taste for curiosity ready for the next bus. I hope you have your taste for curiosity ready for the next episode. Good day. Good day.